Grace. Thanks for tuning in to Florida Drive-By. May 19th, Friday, 11 o'clock, about 87 degrees. Um, I'm just going to be getting on the I-75 here off of Veterans Boulevard. And I hope everybody's doing healthy, wealthy, and wise. There's our American flag on the right-hand side over there. Uh, yeah, I wanted to bring up a subject in... Um, um, I guess it's going to be why I like the Glock. And I'm going to bring that up. Uh, back when Gaston Glock created the Glock, uh, he wasn't a gun manufacturer, he was an engineer. He designed it with the high impact uh, plastics and uh, designed the gun. And initially, when he designed it, you know, it was designed as a reliable, um, everyday gun. Something military could use, something police could use, uh, that when you pull the trigger it would bang and it worked. And initially it didn't really have safeties on it, any kind of safety system, and uh, it had very sensitive hair trigger. Um, so uh, there was a lawsuit um, that was brought on, somebody actually accidentally was in a misfire or something, and um, that, that changed the whole persona of the Glock pistol. Um, they redesigned it and put that uh, triple action safety system in there um, and uh, changed a lot of the um, internals. Uh, and that's why when you go to Glock, uh, it does not have real low uh, value, uh, you know, poundage uh, connectors or trigger, trigger bar, trigger spring. Uh, it's a little stiff, a little harder, a little bit more slack because it was designed that way because they had problems with them having hair triggers and there was some accidental discharges. So they changed, they kind of redesigned the gun and that brings us to the current clock we have. Now, the current clock, um, my, my feelings on it, I like the gun. I don't like the safety system, but it's tried and true to the military, police, and civilians. A lot of people own them. Um, I usually add a cider lock, which is a third-party safety, which doesn't avoid the warranty or interfere with the gun. It's about a $50 item. And I feel a little bit better when I have that on it. Because I think, you know, it gives it a little bit, uh, it gives it a safety I can turn on and off, and it doesn't affect the triple action safety that's built into the system. So you still have that uh, passive system. It becomes deactivated when you uh, pull the trigger, and it doesn't affect it. And so that you have it active too, so you can turn your active safety on. And then when you turn your active safety off, you still have the pa uh, passive uh, safety system, the triple safe, safe active system. It just locks your trigger, so you can't pull the trigger. And then you unlock it, you can pull it, but you still have that drop safety and everything that's built into the gun, firing pin safety and everything that's built into the gun. You still retain those features in the gun, which is nice. And then it, it kind of makes it bearable, but you know, any Glock is going to be reliable out of the box. It's going to fire, it's going to be nice. Uh, you're not going to have any problems with them. They are just functioning all the time, nice guns, period. Some people, um, you know, swear by them. Some people hate them. So it's the same thing, like um, with any gun, with like a 19 or 11. Some people swear by them. Some people hate them. And whether it's a 1911, whether you have a uh, Sig or you know, whatever kind of gun you have, some people love them. Some people hate them. But you know, then they changed. Uh, like I say, they changed the whole design of the gun. And then uh, the New York uh, City Police Department. Most of those people had revolvers, so when they were moving over to the Glock, uh, they wanted the Glock to feel more like a revolver. So a lot of those guns, uh, Glock uh, set them up with the New York uh, trigger. And there's two, there's a New York one and a New York two. I think the New York uh, one is like eight pounds, and New York two is like 12 pound trigger spring. So uh, they uh, replaced the trigger spring with the New York one, and they put a three and a half pound connector in it, and that effectively gave it somewhere around a five pound trigger pull. And it felt more like a revolver. And 
less really like the, the automatic. So a lot of the people are used to that. I tried it. I took it to the range. I couldn't really get used to it, so I put my gun back to uh, just a three and a half pound trigger uh, connector and uh, a regular trigger spring. And it feels a lot more snappier, kind of spongy uh, with the New York one trigger, and I, I really care for it. And I'll do a review on that. Um, it's just it's a little bit more uh, spongy, like I say. So. I changed that back, uh, you know, and I still got to go to the range a little bit and try it out, but it'll probably be much better. It was just too spongy at the range. Uh, it, was, it seemed like there was more delay in the trigger, and it, was, it seemed a little harder to shoot. But, uh, yeah, so that's the whole kind of history encapsulated in a short drive-by video. Uh, now I'm on the I-75 going south, and I got about 41 miles, so 38 miles to get I got to go. I have a small service call up there. And then I'm going to meet the guy from the NRA, because we're going to be giving an NRA class at Florida Gulf Coast University. Uh, you know, you can't even So that would be nice. Uh, the NRA is going to be giving some free uh, concealed carry classes out. You know, we're just we're trying to not get Hillary in office. We don't need a gun ban. Uh, you know, we really want to get Trump in. I think he's the best candidate for what's going on now. Hopefully he gets elected. If Hillary gets uh, elected, it's the end of this country. It's, you know, if she gets elected, guys, you better go out and immediately start buying guns and put them away. Even if you don't have the money, sell something because um, a lot of guns are going to be gone. You know, a lot of, you know, and they'll get more expensive too. So, uh, I'd be very, very leery because if that happens, we're basically screwed. Uh, yeah, so do I like the Glock? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great gun. Uh, is it my favorite gun? Uh, probably not my favorite, but I do like it. And I like it with, I like it after a few modifications. You know, I know they have, they don't have a full rail, they have that Glock rail. They did make a model with the rail, uh, limited for like police or for the military, and they released it to the civilian market until they used them all up. But I wish they would have full rails on every Glock. A sweet looking kind of thing to that. But uh, I think a lot of that they don't do it because as far as concealability, you have that big uh, railroad track on the bottom of your gun and uh, you know, holsters and stuff, different things don't fit. But it's nice to have it for light rails and stuff and it, it looks pretty nice, but it is it makes it a little bit wider. But thanks a lot guys for tuning in. It's my Florida drive-by and that's my take on the Glock uh, 1911 or Glock. Thanks.